current debate on international mediation? Well, I'm, I like to think of myself as a conceptualist, um, and uh, I've contributed a number of concepts in the idea of negotiation. One has been uh, very well accepted and is part of vocabulary, indeed a, a term that is used, um, and that is formula. The idea that you don't go from uh, positions, initial positions, to an agreement without passing through a general sense of what you're negotiating about. And the second one is the idea of ripeness, uh, the idea that the uh, parties have to be locked in a painful stalemate in order to be open to the possibility of negotiating. Uh, there is a lot of debate about whether mediation is a technical concept, whether the literature on mediation is a technical uh, literature, or whether mediation is part of a broader process of political, or even economic and social change. Could you address this? I agree. You agree with, with, with which? Everything. <laughs> it is also part of a, a yeah, it is, political... Yeah, it is technical. Uh, it, I think it's much more political, uh, uh, political and social and uh, economic uh, can come in as well, but perhaps not as frequently, uh, much more so than, than a technical. Uh, thing, but uh, the, the technicalities of mediation as well. Do you think would be the creative contribution that a unit, a center of research, or even a center of gathering people on, uh, on mediation uh, in the global south could make? Well, there are a number of levels of things. I think the first thing that uh, a, a research, a, an academic shop, a, an analyst shop, I like to use the word analyst, can do, it is to get into practitioners' hands usable parts of what is already written. There is, in, in all these things that we think are new, uh, there's already a lot of material out there and you can go back to, uh, uh, you know, the oldest negotiation in the world was between uh, Abraham and God over the, uh, over the fate of, of, uh, of Sodom. Uh, and we have something that we can learn from that. So there you, you can get things from the past and, and, uh, and more recent writings than the book of Genesis. Second thing you can do, however, is we still don't know enough about anything. And so you can keep on uh, in your research finding out, uh, what I like to say is, how is it done when it's done well? And so you look at the way practitioners do it, uh, then you look at how is it done when it's done badly to see what corrections one can make and one tries to understand the, the process of mediation and negotiation. Inventing new things, um, refining, a, correcting, adding to concepts that are there and understanding of practice. Um, and then the third is, uh, I think one has to face new types of, of situations um, because the world is evolving. You know, one of the things that struck me in our meeting here, a, a very uh, pertinent idea, was the idea that we're, we're beyond state conflicts, we're beyond interest, uh, uh, intrastate conflicts, uh, uh, civil wars and so on, and we're into conflicts about drugs and gangs and crime and, and so on. Um, and in each case, we thought we'd reach a, <clears throat> a barrier where one of the parties was illegitimate. And then we said, well, no, you've got to recognize the legitimacy. And then we came to internal conflicts, and we said, well, some parties are illegitimate, you can't talk to them. And then we realized we have to talk to them. What about now, crime and drugs and so on? How are we going to handle that?